Okay, I'm gonna show you how to ring um, the uh, shanks once you remove the hammers. Um, I'm using this tool. It's a hammer shank reamer. And I'm using it with this handle. Basically, I just put it in. Right like that. And I can adjust for a different, let me see if I can focus here, yes. So for different um, uh, thicknesses, hammer shanks, I can adjust the diameter of the reamer just by turning, by loosening or tightening this here. Um, so if I tighten it, what's gonna happen, they're like these four pieces, they're like reamers, right, inside. They, they're gonna get squeezed inside, they're gonna get squeezed and they're gonna ring more of the shank. If the shank, if I um, untighten this, so they will naturally open a little bit and this is for a larger size uh, shanks. So uh, depending on, on uh, the hammer hole, where the, where the, the, the shank goes, so this is the uh, a new hammer that I'm going to use. So depending on the size, usually there are two sizes of um, holes that are used uh, for two uh, hammer shanks, two sizes of hammer shanks. And um, depending on the size, um, I want to adjust uh, this reamer so it would uh, clean the old glue residue and make it smooth um, so that um, so there is enough room for the for the new for the old shank with the glue to get inside this hole. Um, so basically, this is the procedure. It's very extremely simple actually to do something like this. Let me let's get this one here. So I've already adjusted um, the uh, the thickness. So I'm just gonna go straight, and I'm going to turn back and forth, back and forth. You see how I'm holding the the shank so it doesn't move side to side because I don't want to damage accidentally the um, the flange. But, um, okay, so I'm clipping it basically with my finger to the hammer rest trail. You see, it's, the shank is very it's very stable right now. It 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 won't really move. Okay, then I go straight in. I go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Well, I'm applying a little bit, a little bit of pressure, downward pressure. Going back and forth, back and forth. So this one has a a lot of glue residue, so this one is particularly hard compared to some other ones. So let me go just in one direction. Okay, so it, it cleaned up. You see, it's very clean right now, very, very clean. I'll show you how to clip the, the ham hammer shanks, um, how to change the length. This is uh, used more often when um, shanks are brand new and need to be trimmed to the appropriate uh, height. So in this particular case here, I am um, replacing hammers um, while preserving the old original shanks. Um, so I'm going to trim just a little bit the old glue residue um, and a little bit of uh, wood if there is left from the old hammers. So I'm using this um, tool. It's actually, uh, this is actually a pet nail clipper, I kid you not. I, I, I didn't know, I remember when I first ordered it from uh, Shaf, a piano supply. And um, 
um, and they advertised it as uh, just as um, hammer shank uh, clipper and uh, when it arrived it actually arrived uh, sealed in a um, uh, packaged um, with, with a label that it, it is for uh, a pet nail clipping and actually there were some um, some pictures I believe of of pets <laughs> and uh, nails so it's uh, um, uh, this is a tool that, that it's uh, I believe it's widely used in in our trade and um, it, 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 it works perfectly so you would see there are two sides and the the top side is where the blade goes over so this is how we want to use it we don't want to use it this way upside down but we want to use it uh, in uh, in the way that the blade will go over right so let's say that we want to trim this shank here okay so a little bit just a little bit we trim just a little bit at a time we can't trim that much even if we wanted to um, we have to trim just a little bit so you see how I go a little bit just gonna, just gonna clip it like this and that's it um, of course I can do um, I can make maybe even a little bit better especially if I'm not filming so I can I can see better but you see this one for example you see a lot of um, the glue on top of it so I carefully I can go and I can just clip remove the, the old glue residue now I have a clean shank on top so this one of course I'm gonna measure the height and I'm gonna measure that um, all the the new hammers are going to line up um, and level perfectly um, but I can I can go over all each one of these and you know I can just eyeball and, and trim them just to make sure that they are uh, clean and once I do this I'm going to measure with the, with the hammers and then I can proceed to uh, I can proceed to uh, gluing the new uh, the new hammers